What is up you guys? My name is Bokusa and welcome to a brand new video for you all. So, I have been playing a lot of Bannerlord recently and today I'm just going to go ahead and start, pretty much just start and I'll talk more about this later. But essentially what I am going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way that I have found to make money. And this will also double as kind of like a smithing cheat tip guide. So we're going to be making as much money as possible, as quickly as possible by basically making weapons so i'm going to go ahead through the character creation screen and i'm um, basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick everything that gives me points in endurance even though i could theoretically take things that give me um like focus points into and in, uh like the smithing plus a little bit of points i'm going to put all my points into smithing eventually anyway but I will put at least one into it just to speed it up just a little bit. But basically, what we're going to do is we can play this on any difficulty. It really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and disable birth and death. It doesn't make a difference as of right now. And we're going to go ahead and start our game. So the first thing we're going to want to do is skip the tutorial because it... Yeah, I'm not doing the tutorial. So, And the next thing that we're going to want to do is give ourselves a family name that no one cares about and finish this up next we're going to go to our character screen and we have a point in writing it doesn't really matter what we take here but we're going to put our point that we have right now into smithing so our first objective actually is to go here and trade and we're going to buy all of the hardwood that they have now this shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody who's uh, played this game if you've ever done smithing before probably isn't super surprising but the thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be of course trying to smith a whole bunch of stuff right so we're going to go to a specific spot in the game and it's pretty much going to be in the Asari area so our actual character is a uh, race is Asari which is kind of useful but we're going to be going to the Asari lands because they have an item that we need and they sell it as as soon as the game starts which is very convenient so i've actually been playing a ton of bannerlord recently and i would be more than happy to upload more content from this game uh whether it's just like playthrough or breaking the game in stupid different ways oh no oh i tried moving ah whatever i'll just give him some coins i can't be asked to do this right now i don't have the time we're trying to do this as quickly as possible my objective is to make a hundred thousand coins as quickly as I can. And how long will that take me? I probably no longer than 20 to 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and just hop right into it. So step one, we're going to go to the tavern district and see how much this guy costs. 523 coins. Okay, we'll make we'll make a note of that for later. But we're going to see there is no uh, tournament going on right now, so we're not going to be able to do that, but that's okay. We're going to go into the smithy and go ahead and just get started. We're going to basically make as many uh, as many bits of wood that we can from different sources, and we're going to be trying to sell it to hopefully make, turn a profit, or at least to essentially get our first few levels, so... If we go into the trade screen, oh wait, we already did that. Uh, we go back into the smithy and just kind of smelt these using that. And just go back and forth on this. So we don't really have a lot of money to use. And that's fine. What we're going to do, and because it's going to be a good investment, is we're going to sell all of our beginner equipment. We're not going to be needing to leave the city, I don't think. At least not for a while. So let's go ahead and hit the trade screen one more time. We're going to check. Yes, this city does in fact have a Southern Throwing Daggers. You're going to need as many of these as you can possibly get, but the other ones are also useful. We're not going to quite get too much use out of them yet. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell our sword and our bow and our horse. We actually don't need these. So we're going to buy the daggers and we should actually now be good to start. We're going to hit the smithy up. We're going to smelt down. Uh, some of these things we're also going to go back into the trade screen and we're going to buy if they have any they don't have any hose that's really unfortunate uh they're actually really really useful for getting crude iron however 
Uh, we could actually just buy some iron ore and make it ourselves. Although it does use materials I was hoping to not have to use, but I suppose we can't really avoid that. So let's go ahead and the smithy, make some crude iron. And now we can actually make our first weapon. It's not going to be great. It's going to be pretty shit, if I'm honest. And it's definitely not going to be very useful to us. But we're going to go ahead and make our first weapon. Level up eight times in smithing and go ahead and hit the trade screen and sell our sword for 964 coins. That's a pretty good return. Can't say I am uh, upset with that. So we're going to come down here, buy a few more daggers and go back to the screen and buy some wooden hammers buy the rest of them and their pitchforks. I don't think there's anything else we necessarily need to buy from them. I will take a few more pieces of iron ore just in case. But we can go ahead and wait here for some time to get our stamina back. And you can see that we already can make swords that are rather valuable and this is off the start and I think that's really fun and broken of course. Uh, I don't um I say that. I do tend to abuse this mechanic because it's hard to believe that it's not intended at the same time because it's been in the game for a very long time and ever since the game has been released it, i'm pretty sure it's been like this and so i'm not really sure whether or not it's a quote-unquote exploit or not however uh we're just gonna go ahead and make good use of it and get this taken care of. So one of the things that we could do is we could go back to the uh, tavern district and hire that one guy who would actually make this process a little bit easier for us. If you didn't know, you can actually have the people and like your party members in the smithy, you can actually select them here and they also get their own stamina bar, which will make this process easier for you. However, of course, I don't have him and he's not here anymore, which is a little annoying. So we took efficient charcoal smelter because we don't get as much hardwood as I would like. And this just makes it a lot easier for us to basically hold on to um, as much of our hardwood as we can because getting hardwood is annoying and we don't want to spend the money on it. We want to spend the money on other things, at least until we can truly start to make money, which shouldn't actually take that long. But either way, we are doing our best with what we have. So if we go, not to the trade screen, if we go to the smithy, we can check our two-handed sword blades and we can see that we haven't unlocked anything except for this one, which is a little unfortunate, but I suppose we'll just have to make do. The basic sword kind of sucks, but it is the basic sword after all, so what can you expect from it, you know? So we're going to go ahead and make a couple, which puts us up to level 38 smithing, which is pretty decent and we actually also got a focus point that we can apply so let's go ahead and toss that in there and I think from the looks of it we actually just unlocked a new blade we did broad two-hander blade which actually takes three pieces of fine steel so um that's gonna be a little annoying to get our hands on however it normally would be hard for us to get our hands on but these southern throwing daggers here are actually going to give us the opportunity of getting that really really easy we're gonna move over to the next town because this town only has one pair of southern throwing daggers oh these guys are faster than me for some reason uh what's slowing me down let me see just because it's night oh it's probably because i'm on foot oh that's annoying um i don't have a saddle that's annoying if i get caught by these guys i'm gonna be rather annoyed oh do I need a saddle? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and equip these throwing knives just in case. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Apparently that slowed me down even more. So let's hope I don't get captured by these guys. What? Did I not equip my weapons? Okay. Well. That is annoying. So can I actually go into my character screen here? I can. Okay. We're good. Awesome. Are they equipped now? I don't think I'll be able to kill these guys, but I'll at least try. <laughs> I have some throwing knives. I have 12 in total. What's my accuracy with these? Oh, that's actually not that bad. Shit. I should probably stay on horseback, though, just in case. My mule, if you will. All right, let's see if I can hit this guy from here. That did not go very far. Ah, 
I wouldn't expect that to hit him, but the same. Wait. Do I not have any more throwing daggers? Okay, so. Okay. I didn't, like, want to deal with looters. And. Oh, that's so annoying. I was actually doing really well, and we did something that we needed to do really early on, but now I have to deal with these idiots because these peasants think that they can do something. And I couldn't even pick up the weapon in time. Awesome. Great game. You love it. I mean, I had said I had six daggers, and then I had switched to another dagger, and I said I had six daggers, and then it turns out that I didn't have six daggers. I don't know. The game does that kind of shit all the time. There's definitely a lot of exploits in this game, or a lot of things are definitely broken, and I would love to talk about a few of them, hopefully. But I know that, uh, of course, the devs are never going to fix anything like that, otherwise they wouldn't have been in the game to begin with, if I'm honest, because... Uh, Wait, why am I now one point? Why am I now 5.2? Because I took all of my stuff. Okay. So that was the problem is that I was over encumbered. Okay, great. Well, that's fine, I guess. But yeah, there are definitely some things that are very interesting about this game. And we're going to be doing our best to make use of at least one of them today. So let's go ahead and see if this city has what we are looking for in a reasonable quantity. They don't which really does throw a wrench in our plans. We're going to have to go over to the next city again. So I guess let's uh, hire some troops because we actually have some money. So we don't have to worry so much about... Uh... Oh, what's it called? We don't have to worry so much about money. So we can actually recruit some mercenaries to keep ourselves safe while we run from one place to the other. Although they do slow us down. So the thing that's so nice about these uh, throwing knives is that they're incredibly cheap. So throwing knives in this game are generally kind of useless, and because of that, they are very, very cheap to buy. Now, of course, you can use throwing knives, and I'm sure there are people out there that think throwing knives are very useful and all the power to you. However, they just aren't that good in my opinion, and so we're actually going to be finding a better use for them instead by smelting them down, because you saw earlier that they smelted down for a pretty decent amount of okay stuff. Well... One of the things that they also do is you can actually probably, I say probably, I'm pretty sure you can profit exclusively off of just breaking them down. So there's two of them right there. That's good. I would like to get more than that, though, and I also need to buy food for my men, apparently, so I guess I should do that. Maybe buy a horse or something. Uh, like an actual horse, if you will. All right. So making spending money isn't really that big of a deal. Honestly, it doesn't make that much of a difference for us. So thankfully, we don't have to worry about things like that, which this is one of the things that's nice to do at the beginning of the game, because there's two two things that you really get from doing this is you get um, a lot of money. But also, if you choose, even if you choose to not use this as a way to make money because it's kind of cheesy, you can actually still use this as a method to level up your character because this is a very, very effective way of leveling up your character. And it looks like we have most of the things that we need. So let's go ahead and give it a go really quick. So we're going to go ahead and get our stamina back. And now we're going to go in here and we're going to smelt. We're going to get our... Uh, Dagger's broken down, which is fantastic. And now all we should have to do is essentially just make that sword. So we got pretty lucky, I'm not going to lie. Getting tier 4 blades doesn't tend to happen constantly, but it's not something that's impossible to do to get it as early as I did. It's actually more common than you might think. But now all we really have to do is go to the two-handed tab, go to the tier 4 blades, grab this sword, we're going to go down the line here, see if we have any interesting knobs. Looks like we don't. We're going to be taking the one that gives us the highest uh, swing cut damage, as that's generally the most important thing. And we're going to see if we have any interesting like uh, grips here. 115, 115, 115. Let's go ahead and stick with this one then. Actually, is this the one that... Yeah, okay. So this one means I don't have to use a piece of crude iron, which I don't have right now. And anything here? Nope. Well, we do have this, which gives us 116 swing damage. And now all I have to do is make a piece of charcoal, and we should be able to make our sword. And we just leveled up 39 times in smithing. And we can go to the trade screen and see that we can now sell the sword for 30,000 coins. That is 
incredibly fast absolutely insane money i'm gonna take steel maker um just to make things a little bit easier for me although i don't really know what, if it's actually better or not but it's probably up to personal preference on that perk honestly depending on how much smithing you're going to do and if you're going to do a lot of your own refining or if you're going to break down materials to get your stuff like uh, smelt things like i do so either way you can see we've unlocked a ton of new parts because oh that's a lot of bandits and they're catching up to me somehow no um, no they're not they're just chasing me for no reason oh the step bandits are going to catch me i'm just going to go to the castle i guess all right we'll wait here for a second all right, we'll be able to hire some uh, mercenaries here in the village, which will be in the city, which would be really nice. It'll keep us safe from all these stupid bandits that are already annoying. And like I was talking about earlier, but I never actually got to it. Um, one of the things that's nice is the early game of this game is kind of obnoxious. Um, mostly because it can be a little tedious dealing with some of the mechanics, um, like the bandits and whatnot. I mean, granted, bandits aren't necessarily that hard to deal with but it's just more of a convenience thing because they are rather annoying and so this actually saves us a lot of time and we don't have to spend nearly as much of our time going through and like dealing and killing bandits and whatnot and recruiting troops because that's just lame honestly so what are we lacking oh we need a piece of crude iron why i guess because i picked that uh, okay, I'll take this then. Okay, that's fine. Make another one, go up 25 more levels in smithing, which grabs us the Steelmaker 3 perk. Sell that, boom, hit the trade screen, and we have gotten another 36,000 coins. you love to see it. Let's go ahead and get our stamina back really quickly. At this point, the game is already a lot easier for you. And you've also leveled up like several times, which is obviously kind of nice. But if you're looking to say, start the game off by making yourself a really, really good sword, this is pretty much the way you do it. And so let's see if we have enough stuff. We need one more Southern throwing dagger to actually uh, be able to make what we need to make here. So it doesn't look like we actually see anything in here that we can turn into the steel that we need. However, we can actually buy some of these other things because we did just unlock a lot of our steel smithing perks. So we can go into the smithy and we can actually make our own fine steel now because we have a lot of other stuff that we don't necessarily need. So we're going to do a bit of refining and we're going to go ahead and get ourselves all the way up to 100,000 coins. And then we're probably going to go ahead and call it a broken game at that point because it most certainly is. So let's go ahead and break some stuff down. And get everything that we can let's see if they have any pitchforks because pitchforks break down yes they break down into uh three pieces of wood and they're also cheaper than wooden hammers so if you have to choose between breaking down wooden hammers for the wood or pitchforks always go for the pitchfork don't go for the iron pitchfork because they're just objectively worse and it's just not worth it so oh wait i think i bought iron pitchforks you yeah, see here's the thing these only give one piece of crude iron and a single piece of wood they're actually just not good you want to buy regular pitchforks which is what i meant to buy i don't know what happened there because they give you three pieces of hardwood and now i can make all the hardwood that i need to basically make all the materials that i would need to finish up this video so we're gonna get it done pretty quick i think that's a pretty good win actually although it would be even faster if we had more of the daggers um but we don't and honestly yeah it's so whatever this is obviously a really good start and i'm getting this done in under 20 minutes which i think is rather quite impressive so let's see if we can't finish this up break down our dagger go to the refine screen get two more pieces okay beautiful we might actually be able to do this go to the two-handed sword tab grab our level four tier four blade grab i don't know it doesn't really matter all that much what we take as long as we have the resources we have that go down here and grab this which we do have the materials for that and that and we do we can actually make two swords plus 14 plus 10 levels very very nice and so now we can go into the trade screen and we can sell one of them for twenty six thousand coins and we can go into the tavern district grab some mercenaries and head over to Dynastica to sell them 
Okay, these guys are being annoying, so I have to pay them off. Probably way more money than I want to, but... Oh, 3,000 coins, whatever, I don't care. That's fine. Money is no longer an issue, so if you can get off by just paying them, just fucking do it. It just makes your life so much easier. Now we're going to get stamina spent for smelting is halved, because that's just the better way to go. And now, we're going to hit up Dynastica, and we are going to hit the trade screen. And we actually got a Pugio as well, which is also something that you can break down for uh, steel as well. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have hit 100,000 coins in the first 20 minutes of gameplay. Also getting ourselves to level 128 smithing and our character to level 8. I'm sure there are other exploits out there to get stuff done quickly, but this is the one that I found out. I didn't look it up. I'm sure everybody probably knows about this. If they don't, well, then here you go. If you do, cool. Smithing is completely broken. Tail World, tell, tell whoever the fuck makes this game because I don't remember the dev name because I, I can't be bothered to with the shit that they put us through. Fix your game. It should not be like this. The crafting, the smithing process is just way too easy and it's way broken. If you want this game to be historically active and or accurate and like immersive, the kind of shit like this ruins the game. The immersion is definitely broken whenever I don't have to work hard for my money whenever I can just be a level one peasant and make a 40,000 GP sword. So yeah, fix your game. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the exploit. Tell me the interesting things that you did with it and let me know of anything else interesting broken that you found in the comments. And also keep in mind that once you get to levels in smithing, you can get, say, get like an extra point in vigor or an extra point in control, which these are actually really hard to get your hands on, the free attributes. And you can also get an endurance or two focus points, which is not worth it. So you can get a free focus point in endurance as well. So going down this tree, doing this exploit, it's really quick, obviously. And you can actually get two free stat, like attribute points from it, which is honestly really, really good. So look into it. I love you guys, and I'll see you in another video.